I'm gonna show you in this video a really cool trick in literally one or two clicks to retouch a skin of somebody that used to take me hours and hours and hours. I'm gonna start by me and then I'm gonna show you a beautiful model at the end. So let's do it. My name is Serge Ramini. I'm a French photographer living in the USA and I love to teach Lightroom, Photoshop and photography in a fun and easy way. Let's do it. <laughs> This is a photo of me. I got a really bad skin and you know, usually when I take a self portrait, I have to do so much retouching, you know, I just got a bad skin. That's what it, so we're going to go to filter, neural filter, and these are completely like experimental kind of filter. And the first one we're going to go is skin smoothing. Now this one, you have to make sure you, you, you might see like a little uh, cloud, meaning you need to download it. So just download it first. I've already done that and you just click on it and it's going to activate it. Make sure that output is in new layer, so it goes to a new layer. And look, right out of the bat, it's looking really cool. You can see, uh, you can reset it here. Uh, I'm gonna maybe go a little more blur. And more you push the blur, more it's gonna make the skin very blurry, which is kind of cool. And I really like the difference. You can see the before and after by clicking on this little button here. Before, look at look at the difference. It would take me ages using different layers to do this before. And even more crazy, if you go to Smart Portrait and you download it and you activate it, you can do a lot of really funny things. For example, facial age. If you go here on the right, like I'm going to go very strong, it's going to, it's going to say processing the cloud. So it's going to send a photo in the server Adobe and it's going to make me look like my dad, like very old. Boom, look at the result. It's kind of weird to be honest. I never use this one, but if you go the other way, it's going to make me like I lost 20 years. Boom. It's kind of weird. So usually what I do is I don't use this because it does something weird to my hairs, which I don't like. I mean, this whole thing is really experimental, but I thought it was funny. I want to share that with you. Uh, you can do hair thickness, eye directions, expression. You can make it like surprise. Let's make me surprise. Okay. That's me surprise. Kind of weird. Okay. Let's, bring it back down to zero and you can do like you can I can make myself hunger. Okay, now I'm super hungry. It's a really weird. Okay, I'm going to put it back down to zero and then you have global. You can move the head head direction light direction. Let's try light direction. By the way, guys, I just came up with a full book on Photoshop. Photoshop the easy way. You can have it for free if you watch my workshop on photography. It's a free workshop and at the end you're going to get the book. The link is under this video. Yeah, light direction is kind of weird. Honestly, the only thing that I found really cool on this one is the facial age if you don't overdo it. So let me press OK so you can see the before and after. So that's the before and after. Pretty cool. Now let's take a beautiful, very famous model, Estrella Nuri, that I shot a few years ago. She's now a very, very famous model. And I'm going to download this. I mean, she's got a you know pretty nice skin. Look how sharp that photo is, but you can see every problem of her skin. So I'm going to go here, filter, neural filter. And on this one, I'm just going to use the skin smoothing. Boom. And this one is, you see, it's processing on my device. And look at this, you know, very kind of cool. Um, I can add even more blur and I can click OK. And you get like out of the box, you get a pretty look at this before and after a pretty good detail. And usually when there is more to do, you can go in and that's when you can use, some, for example, like the spot healing brush tool. You know, if you've got like some very specific spot left to do to make it, you know, even more professional. I'm not a professional retoucher of a skin, but I'm uh, I'm happy with what I got. Look at this before, after. Look how very cool. And you can still see the pore of the skin. It's kind of really, really cool. Anyways. A lot of people are taking portraits. It's just a really click. It's not super professional, but it's going to blow you away. Okay, guys, if you really like Photoshop, I have this really cool full course on Photoshop where I'm going to show you all the tricks you need to know as a photographer for Photoshop. Very easy to follow. Click here.